or brain cells communicate with each other by passing tiny little electrical currents. The quantum sensors that we're working with, they're very light and their external surface um, is at room temperature. So unlike the traditional sensors which have to be cryocooled, uh, these things can be mounted directly onto the scalp surface. So we can bring them into much closer proximity to the brain. They're also very light, which means that we can put them on the scalp surface and the subjects who are being scanned can move their head around whilst they're being scanned. So they don't have to keep still anymore. So that opens up lots of new avenues, in particular scanning patients who find it hard to keep still or scanning children. Once we've measured that magnetic field, then we can use that to infer what the currents were in the brain that were generating those magnetic fields. So we can work out exactly what the brain electrophysiology is that's supporting ongoing cognition, ongoing control in our subjects. The main UCL interest in this project is it gives us a new kind of brain scanner that allows us to study things that we've never been able to study before and people who have never been able to be scanned in a new imaging environment before.